collecting the PRP from the patient for which we will be drawing the blood and maintaining the sterility is very important during taking all the blood. So we will be using the preformed this set that consists of all the sterile uh, syringes and along with the vacuum tube in which we will be taking the blood and that blood will be centrifuged to extract the PRP. First we will prepare the area of taking the blood. After proper draping, we will take this mirror which comes along with the set and there has this attachment for this tube which will attach, get it attached. Once the needle is in the vein, so we will use the vacuum tube, this is the gel separator tube, so there is a vacuum in it, so we will extract the blood with a negative pressure. This is the centrifugal machine that we will be using for the PRP preparation. There are various kinds of machine available. So depending upon your availability, you can select any of the machine. Here we are using this one to get the PRP from the blood that we took out from the patient. This is the centrifugal machine that we will be using. So when we open it, it looks like this. So there are the tube holders where 8 tubes can be fitted at once so in one of these slots we will be fitting the tube that we took the blood in and that will be centrifuge to prepare the PRP this is the tube holder in which we will be fitting our blood collected tube tightly and along with this when we are using only one tube we will have to balance with other tubes so that the centrifugal process is done in the proper way in which we have set in the machine. So in this tube we will put the tube in which we have collected the blood and it will be kept in the tube holder in our machine and we will start the machine for the centrifuge. Today we only have one tube so to balance 
as a counterweight we are using another tube with water in it and so we'll be rotating both the tubes in the machine now we'll wrap the tube with a cotton in this way so that the tube gets fitted inside the another tube tightly and otherwise there will be chances of breaking the tube so we'll wrap it with cotton and get it fixed inside the tube which will then be kept inside the machine okay. Keep the tubes inside the machine in the tube holder, one with the blood and another one with the water for the counterbalance. So they are kept in such a way that they balance the weight of each other. So at 180 degrees. Now we'll start the process of centrifugation to get the PRP from the blood collector. Once we switch on the machine, we can select the time as well as the RPM, the rate at which the revolution per minute. So for this, we will keep the time of 15 minutes at 3000 RPM. And we will slowly increase the RPM. So we can hear the sound of the machine. So machine has started its revolution. It's revolving at the rate that is shown in the display and we'll set it to 3000 rpm for 15 minutes. Now the machine is operating at 3000 RPM and the remaining time is 5 minutes. Now the 15 minutes has finished and the machine is showing 0 0 on both the reading. Now we will turn off the machine and take out both the tubes. This is the counterweight. This is a tube in which the blood was collected. Now the, after the gel separator, so the gel has separated the RBCs which are sedimented down and the PRP in the upper part of the tube. Now after the completion of centrifugation process, the PRP has been separated. So if we look at this tube, so there is RBC in the bottom separated by the gel and there is a level of plated rich plasma and above one is the plated plasma. So this is how the PRP is prepared. This is the platelet extractor needle. We will use this needle to extract the plated rich plasma. First, we will take out the expected poor plasma, the above one, the upper layer and after that, we will take the lower platelet rich plasma in the separate syringe. Okay. Now, we are taking out the platelet poor plasma which is on the upper portion. 
so the offer 3 to 4 ml Platelet for plasma. And with another series, we will extract the PRP. This way, we have finally prepared the PRP. So, in this series, we have platelet rich plasma, and here we have the PPP. Which is the little core plasma.